Well, another day, another blitz. Got a lot of birds picking at bait. I'm assuming peanut bunker. Not seeing too many splashes though, but there's gotta be some fish mixed in here. Ah, of course, now they're over there. Gotta move down. It's the thing about blitzes, man. You run up to one and then they just push way in another direction, in like half a second. So we got a good, it's gotta be at least 50 seagulls and some cormorants mixed in there. Picking at bait. There's gotta be some striped bass action mixed in with all this activity. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. I knew there had to be fish mixed in here. Let's see what we got. Another micro striper perhaps. That's what it's looking like. The old Johnny specialty lately. A little guy. Sweet, awesome, fun. Well, we know there's fish around, just not uh, not big ones. Ooh, there we go. There's a fish. Another micro. Man, I just gotta take it for what it is, I guess. Even smaller than the first one. See you, buddy. Well, I've already given my opinion in my last video about the overall success of this fishing season. Uh, mainly just talking about daytime fishing and blitz fishing. And uh, let's just say, this time of year in October, I don't know, three or four years ago, these same types of blitzes I was finding in the same spot, the same bait, were all filled with keepers and good fish up to 40 inches. And this season, especially these last two weeks, have just been all schoolies. And uh, especially these last two weeks, it's been 10 to 12 inch fish. Oh, speaking of which, just hooked up again. And I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know what it is. It just could just be, who knows? Could be a lot of things. Am I saying the fishery's down? I don't know. I'm just saying I'm not finding big fish like I was or as easily three to four years ago. And again, this is strictly fishing daytime and finding blitzes. I'm not talking about my night, oh, there he goes. I'm not talking about my night fishing success, which I did have good success this year, so. I don't know, end rant. Gotta take it for what it is and just enjoy a couple weeks I have left. It's pretty soon these fish are all gonna be gone, man. Oh, got him. Ah, uh, and I lost them. <laughs> I also have a really bad hook ratio with these tiny fish. So, that's another thing to complain about. It seems in any direction I cast, I can get bit. So that's, looking on the positives here, that, that's, that's good. Hooked up again. Feels a little more feisty. Let's see what we got here. That is Dink City, baby. Dink City. God. We got another. Foot long. 
and away he goes. Well, that was very short lived. I think I got three or four little 10 inchers. Uh, I'm gonna try and move and find some bigger fish. If I don't find any, that's gonna be the end of this video. And I'm also getting ready for a night fishing session. If you're fishing in the Rhode Island area, if you're looking for bigger fish, go at night and stay away from these blitzes because you're only gonna get 10 inch fish out of them. So that's that.